So in this video, we're going to reveal what this new trailer from New Camp RV is, how it beats the ever popular tab trailer in most categories, and we'll give you a full tour showing how this company took the sturdy and tested platform of the tab trailer and built upon that platform to make this an even better camper for you. And stick around to the end of the walkthrough as I'll be breaking down what I think sets this trailer apart and the areas I still think can be improved. Hi, I'm Sean at Low Guide Trailers in San Diego. This is the classic made by New Camp for Ultimate Toys. This is a really vintage looking trailer. It really has everything. As far as specs and dimensions, this is about 2,250 pounds, 13 foot 5 inches tip to tail, 7 foot 6 inches wide, and then 7 foot 8 from the ground to the top. This is a 19 gallon freshwater tank. It has an 18 gallon gray water tank and then the toilet is actually a cassette, which is nice. So there's no black water tank, which is really an excellent thing. You can see right in the front, we've got this great storage area for the LP tank. It's a, di a diamond plate metal box there. Spare tire is mounted underneath. With this classic, the whole thing is just designed to be really retro and uh, have that classic charm to it. So that's really exemplified in this area right here where you have these gorgeous fenders and the full moon caps right there and the white wall tires. Really, really vintage looking. Um, going over to this area there on the left, you'll see you have a mount where you can attach the table outside and bring your whole working station outside just by sliding that in there. And lifting this up here, you'll see you have 110 outlets where you can plug in when you have 110 power. And then working around to the back, this hatch lifts up. You've got a removable Yeti cooler right there. Nice big um, screen TV, sink and double burner stove. Runs off propane, of course. And it's got all the comforts you'd expect. It has hot water, it's got the furnace, AC, everything. Instead of the cabinetry coming right to the end, you actually have all this really nice storage underneath here. So you can use this however you'd like. Additionally, you've got storage in both of the corners right there. So you've got some really nice cubbies where you have 12 volts where you could plug in USBs to charge your phone, anything like that. And on the other side, you have 110. Now you've also got speakers up at the top there, uh, which is great, has some really nice sound to it. You do have a good uh, storage area right there. So you could put any um, cooking gear right there, pots, pans, things like that. And then you'll see it opens right through to the other side. And then if we open this up here, you'll see it has a Bosch tankless water heater. And so usually when you get to the campground, you'll have to wait 20 minutes for that hot water to heat up. But this is an instant system. So really nice to have and you just have immediate hot water. Let's open up this uh, compartment back here. You'll see we have the Nautilus water system. And that's great because now all your controls are in one place. You can really easily control when you want to run off the tank on the trailer or you can connect to city water and run off that. You can also um, control when you're gonna be doing dry camping and you also have a shower off here with hot water. On the side here, um, well, on both sides actually, in the front we have this really nice Euro style window that opens up. And this is about one inch thick, it's a dual pane acrylic. And so it's really big, lets in a lot of natural light and you have a dual screen system built into this too. So you can pull down the screen to keep bugs out, pull up to have privacy and do any increment, increments that you want. And it just keeps more insulation, it keeps it cooler inside, it keeps it warmer inside and really is a fantastic window. With a cassette toilet like this, which is a five gallon capacity, it's wonderful because you don't have a black water tank. So that means you don't have to go and track down a dump station. There's no maintaining, there's no sanitizing that you have to do. And it just pulls out like this, has a handle right here. And then it's just gonna pull out like this and roll. So you can simply take it to any toilet that you have and flip, this flips over right, right here and you just dump it out. And then you just bring her back over here and just slides right back in. Now I'm 5'9 and I've got some really good standing room. I can fully stand up very comfortably. You have a, a cooking area in the front here with the Dometic refrigerator. Let's open that up so you can check that out. It's got a freezer section in there as well. So you can open this up for some ice cubes. And then you've got the Dometic cooktop right here with an automatic uh, ignition, and you've got a nice sink right there. And this is hot water and everything, so all your um, cooking setup is right here. I mean, there's storage everywhere. This opens up here, you've got cubbies down below, uh, top to bottom. And then over here, you've got a, 
We'll open this one up, up above, down below, and it goes really far back. You can put pots, pans, any kind of cooking gear you've got, it's all gonna fit under there. And, and the upper one, you've got outlets. So you've got 12 volt, which is gonna run um, off your battery and the, being charged from the solar. So USBs, and then you've also got 110s. And then if you look up above, you've even got cabinets up here. So you could put anything here, maps, keys, anything like that is really perfect for here. Let's take a look in the shower area. You've got some good room in here. It's really cool because you have the toilet down below. It's a Thetford toilet. You've got a sink up above and you can actually attach that faucet right above. So you can use that as a shower inside, of course, and really a versatile area. I like the window here that this will swivel. So you can have this as privacy or as a window. In the back seating area, I love that you have these really cool seats. I mean, they are really gorgeous. It has that classic look to them and very comfortable. It has a, a table that swivels into all kinds of different positions. So you can really have this however you like it. And you can set this at different heights, uh, different levels. This will swivel and rotate. And you'll remember you have the pass-through right here. So really cool storage access area there. And a whole cabinet over there. Speakers on the sides and little accent lights on the backs. And then even storage up above with the shelf right here that goes all the way side to side. So you can put books there, anything you need is gonna fit there really well. And then if we look up toward the top here, you've got storage cubbies all along there, um, front to back there. And so you can put all kinds of good stuff there. Your control center is right here. So you see what level your tanks are at, monitor your battery power, turn on your water pump and turn on all kinds of lights. Working over this way, you'll see you have your entertainment center here. So you have your TV right here, FM radio. This will pair to your smartphone, which is really neat. And you've got, uh, you can control the, the heat and the air temperature right here, as well as you've got your microwave right there. And it just feels really open, really good standing room in here. We've got the fan up above and all those screens. So lots of airflow in the trailer. And the classic, we have a, a 12,000 BTU heater, which is run off of propane. So you can use that wherever you are. It's really nice to have, very convenient and always works. And then you've got the AC as well down there. Down here we have um, vents, we've got our carbon monoxide detector, more outlets, 12 volts, 110. And then you've got your fuse box down here. This is gonna maneuver and pull off. So what we're gonna do is use this ratcheting system here to release the tabletop. This is gonna come off like this. It's gonna go on, on the ground. And then what's really cool is you can pull this out halfway like this to make up the bed. So you can have sleeping here on one side and then still have seating on the other side. So you can be on this side where you have a bed on here and seating on this side, or you can do it where you have the bed on this side and then have the lagoon table and seating on the side over there. Now you can have this side as the bed and then seating and the table with the lagoon right here. So really nice, versatile setup. You can have this however you like. Now for those pros and cons. If you're familiar with tab trailers, you know that tab makes a version called the CSS. This stands for clamshell model, meaning it's a tab trailer with an outdoor galley kitchen and hatch. So it still has the indoor kitchen as well. And you know how much I love my outdoor galley kitchens. The CSS is very similar to this trailer in design, being as it's made by the same company, New Camp RV. But there's one big difference. The CSS only comes with a standard bed. What I love about this model is that it's a perfect fit for couples because you get a true queen-sized mattress. You also know I like the little details. I like how the AC was mounted in the floor versus on the ceiling. I like how you almost get one extra foot of width throughout the entire trailer compared to the CSS. Although it's only one extra foot, remember that means one foot wider galley kitchen outside, one foot wider interior area to move around, one foot more space to add cabinets, a larger bed, and I probably should mention the use of composite sidewalls, the aluminum frame, a one-piece aluminum roof, the dual paint acrylic windows, and the list keeps going. And for the third pro, I'm going to come back to that bed again. You know I complain a lot about how much I dislike beds that must be converted into a table each morning and then set back up again 
every night. With this model, if you're a solo traveler, you get full-time access to a bed and a table at the same time. This allows the use of a full-time table for eating and working without ever having to convert it back into a bed. But this also leads me into my first con. Wouldn't it have made more sense to put the lagoon mount on the other side of the interior? So this is Sean at 5'9". He could sleep at an angle there, right? I can sleep like, like that. Is okay with a pillow there. That'd be fine. Yeah. Um, but you'd have to definitely have your legs curled a little bit. And then that would, that would work. Yeah. Or if you're at an angle with another pillow there, it's a little, little more room. Like the meerkat where they have the little extension at the bottom. That'd yeah. be great there, right? Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Like right here, just to spread out a little more like that. Yeah. Instead of being forced to use a short bed if you want a full-time table, unless I'm seeing something incorrectly, I think the manufacturer just needs to flip that mount to the other side, and now you have a full-length bed with a full-time working and eating area. It seems like such a simple solution to me, but maybe I'm overlooking something here. The next potential con is in the wet bath. Did you notice how there was no vent in the bathroom? Now, I don't know if this is needed or not. If you follow the channel, you know my weak area is bathrooms. I don't know much about them, but the one thing I do know is that ventless bathrooms are not very common. For those of you who own a trailer with a wet bath, let me know if you think a vent is needed on this model. For number three, I'm coming back to that additional one foot of width that I really like. As much as I like it, adding width does come with a sacrifice. This trailer is about 500 pounds heavier than the Tab CSS. If your tow capacity can handle the extra 500 pounds, I can't imagine why one would go with the CSS over this. I've never considered owning the CSS for my family, but this trailer, if I could figure out how to modify the interior and squeeze a bunk into it, I think this would be a perfect fit for us. Indoor and outdoor cooking plus high ceilings and a fairly simple and compact design. But at 2,500 pounds, this might be pushing your tow capacity to the limit if you own a compact or midsize SUV. If you want to compare this trailer to the CSS, we have an entire walkthrough of the tab trailer right here on the left that's going to help you decide what model is best for you. And if you need a trailer with standing height, check out our playlist here on the right, which includes all our standing height trailer walkthroughs. Stay safe out there, guys, and we will see you in the next episode.